Welcome student, today we will learn about the classification of functions with respect to parameter and return values. These are the contents of our today lecture. First classification of function according to parameter and data type. So according to parameter and data type functions are basically classified in four categories. With without parameter and without return value functions, function with parameter and without return value, function without parameters and with return value, function with parameter and with return values. And other topics are different ways to make function call. There are basically two types of calls, call by reference and call by value. And key differences between call by reference and call by value. Now first classifications based on the parameters and data types. So we categorize in four category. So we will learn the first category that is function without parameters and without return value. Basically when we define any user defined functions then we have to define function data type, functions name and function parameter. But it is not necessary that every function should have the parameter and every function should have a return type that is depend on the user. So according to basis of parameter and return value the functions are defined in categorized in different categories. So our first category is function that have without parameter and without return type. It means function which does not have parameter and does not have any return value. So we take an example here. First we define a function according to the definition. When we define any user defined function first we need data type or return type of the function, function name, then parenthesis and in this parenthesis we put the number of the parameter and then we use the semicolon. So that is also known as a function prototype. So when we not need to any return type then we mostly use the void before the name of the function and when we not need parameter then we have blank the parenthesis space of the function. So when we use the any user defined function then we follow the three step first we define the can declare the function then we define the function and we call the function. Suppose here we define a add name functions whose return type is void it means not need to return type and parameters are nil. When we call this functions there is no parameter when we call this function then as we call the control goes to the called function and when this control go there is no any data input for the calling function because the parameters are the blank here so no inputs are given to the calling function. This function is known as a calling function and this function is known as a called function. So when we do not have any parameter then simply control transfer from calling function to call function and when control go here then he read the contents mentioned in the body of the calling functions and after reading this he again go back for the calling functions and he does not return any type of the value because here functions return type is the void so he will not return any value and control simply go from calling function to call function and after reading we again go to the calling function. So there are some key points 
regarding that there is a simple control is transfer from calling to the called functions and call to calling functions second point is that there is no data transfer between calling and call function because their return type is, is nothing and their parameter is nothing so he will not uh, any data transfer third point is that such type of function are used to display some messages and some statements simply display some statements and reading and writing operations are basically performed in the called function so these are the key points of the functions without parameter and without return values now we see the second category of the function this category is with parameter and without return values functions as name so the parameter the function who have the parameter but doesn't return any value such type of the function are categorized in this category so we take an example function with fun parameter then i will enter some parameters in the parenthesis and without return then i will give the void keyword before the name of the function so when we we give this parameter and we call this function then there pass some, some data like as we pass here 10 and 20 so this 10 and 20 will pass to the called function as a input and this input data will be used here and will process and after executing the this box or writing box the control will go back to the calling functions and his return type is nothing so there will come control will only go he will not take any type of the value so this calling function called function will not return any uh, type of the value to the calling functions okay now there are some key points regarding to the function with parameter and without return values so these are key parameters there is a control transfer with data value from calling to called function and after execution the called function the control back comes to the calling function there is data transfer from calling to called function because it have parameter such type of the functions depends calling functions and reading and writing operation are basically performed in called function and in this the result of the called function is not returned to the calling function because we not provide the return type of the function now third category the function is that function without parameters and with return value so in such type of the functions the parameters are kept empty and function return value is given according to the user requirement like int char and any data types so here we mention a prototype of the function here function doesn't have any parameter so this parenthesis there is no any argument or parameters and function have return value so we'll give the data types and according to user so we mention int data type before the name of function name add okay now when this function is called then there is no data transmission from calling function to call function because there is parameter is empty so there is no any input is given here and when control goes from calling to called functions 
then he will read out the writing the statements of the called function and after reading this these statements the control will return a single value to the calling function like we see here the overall result is mentioned in c so control will return this c to the called function so c as a return value c will consider as a return value to the calling function next category is function without parameter and with return values so these are some keys there is no data transfer from calling to called function but called to calling functions one data is sent that is basically our return type simple control is transfer from calling to called function and executing called function control goes back to calling function next point is that the result of the called function is returned to the calling function and the calling function receives one data from the called function next category is the function with parameters and with return values as this category have the parameter and their return value so there we mention an example here we take an addition name functions we pass here number of parameter 2 which are integer type and return type of the function is integer so in such type of the category basically there is a proper communication between calling and called function or in other words we can say that there is a proper data transfer between calling and called function this type of function when we make call then as we call the data pass or parameter pass here in this function is given as a input to the called function and called function accept this data and using this data they calculate the result and this result is again transfer to the calling function to the control so that is the basic mechanism of functions with parameter and with return values so there are some keys regarding to the functions with parameter and with return values first key is that there is data transfer from calling to called functions and from called to calling function one data is sent back the control is transfer from calling to called function along with data and executing called function control goes back to calling function along with a single value that is known as a return value and the result of the called function is returned to the calling function now here the calling function and called functions both are dependent on each other so we can say that this type of the categories of the function basically use the mutual transmission of information between them now our next topic is different ways to make a functions call so when we call any functions there are different ways or different methods to calling a function so there are basically three ways to making the functions call first one calling from main functions or from user defined function or from sam functions so basically in category third when we call a function again and again then such type of the activity or such type of the functions is known as a recursive functions so first we i will consider first category now that is the our first category in this we basically 
call from a user defined function from the main function that is our main function and that is the any user defined function so we will make this call statement here as we will make call statements then control will go to the definition of the function that is also known as a calling function and when control go here after going here control will read the writing box of function 1 and after reading this the control will simply transfer to the main function so that is the mechanism of calling a function from the main function and it is not necessary that a function can call always in the main it also can be called one user defined fu function to the another user defined function and one user defined function also can be called the many times so there are different way that is the first category from which we call a function from the main function now second calling from another user defined functions a function so we will take an example here here we mention two function function 1 and function 2 function 1 and function 2 both are user defined function so when we call function 1 in our main function then main function will go to the calling function and control will go here then he will read its statements again we call another user defined function f2 in function f1 so control will again go on the definition of the function f2 and when he control will go here he will read the contents of the statements mentioned in the writing box of the function 2 this function 2 is also user defined function and after reading this function the control will go to the calling function so we can say that here that is calling called function and that is calling function the control will go back to the calling function now he will go back to the calling function and again because this again is called by the main function so the control will again move from here and will return value or simply there is control go from to the main function from function 1 yes. so that is the mechanism of calling a user defined function to the another user defined function it means we can also call the different user defined functions in different way next category is that calling a function again and again by itself that is also known as a recursive of the functions for example to consider the recursive functions we take or introduce example of calculating the factorial of a number so the mechanism of factorial of a number is that we select one by one digit at each step so what we are doing we are basically taking an integer at every time so such type of the functions is considered as a recursive functions so we'll take here an example of factorial in this factorial function we again call the factorial function is called is here when we call this function control will go here in this function we again call this function itself then control will go here and here after reading this statement the control will go calling function and after reading this the function will go again the calling of this function here so this is the mechanism of representing a function by calling itself and it is also known as a recursive function our next point is 
call by function and call by call by value and call by reference functions so basically there are two mechanism of calling a function or we can say that there are two method of calling a function first calling by value and calling by reference so what is the call by value method or call by value function the function in which copies of values of an argument is passed into the formal parameter of that function is called as a call by value function so in the call by value function basically when we pass any type of the parameter then passing the copies of this parameter into the formal parameter is known as a call by value function second function is call by reference function so according definition of the call by reference function the function in which copies of the address of an argument or parameter is passed into the formal parameter of that function is known as a reference call by reference function so in the call by reference function we basically use the reference it means address of a variable while in the call by value we use basically variable name or any constant value so there are some basic key points which make difference one function to the another and in other words we can say then the key differences between the call by value and call by references are that first call by value method or function original value is not modified while in the call by a reference method the original value is modified second difference is that in the call by value a copy of variable is passed where in the call by reference a variable itself is passed third difference is that the call by value actual and formal argument will be created in different memory locations whereas in call by reference actual and formal arguments will be created in the same memory location and next difference is that the call by value is default method in programming languages like c c++ php and so on where the call by reference is the supported only by the java language next difference is that the call by value variable are passed using a step forward method where in call by reference the pointers are used to store the address of variable so we can say the call by reference or in the call by value in the call by reference we basically use the pointer and in the call by values we basically use the variables now we can also take an example to properly understand what is the call by value and call by reference functions so in the call by value reference we can see here that these that is the code segment which is used to swap the two variables now we mention here two variable a and b and our aim is to swap these values or interchange these values so we will take value of a 100 and value of b 200 and we pass here so that is the mechanism of passing value to the function so we can observe here that we are passing here by a variable or by a value so due to this reason such type of the function is known as a call by value here we use swap function and we pass a and b so there we passing two variable a and b their value is this due to this it is known as a call by value and we also can see here when 
this function is core that is now the actual parameter and that is known as a formal parameter. So actual parameter will be make a copy to the formal parameter. So value of this a will accept here and value of this b will accept from here. So there is a passing the copies of the values not actual parameter. Actual parameter is basically make unmodified. Now in this example we will consider what is the call by reference functions. In this method we basically use the pointer and we make call here when we call then we pass here not actual parameter a and b because value of a is handed and value of b we pass here the address of a and b okay. and these addresses or values of a and b will pass to the pointer variable a and b to pass the pointer variable a and b so we can see here that in call by reference functions we basically pass the reference of a given parameter and these parameter may be modified. Thank you.